Hello there, family. Hello there, witches. It's your high priestess, your sister witch, Kathy. And today I'm talking to you all from the darkness about relationship advice. Now I will begin and make a statement here. I feel like in this video, I am not talking about anyone in particular. This is a general message, but if you feel like this touches you, then this is for you. Spirit has been on to me for making this video for the past couple of days and I have just been putting it off. I can't do it anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get right into it. I had a friend in my life about 15 years ago and his name was Walter. Just the coolest friend. He gave me a, a lot of wisdom, a lot of knowledge, taught me a lot of street smarts, things like that. One thing he told me is that however you treat a person when you first meet that person, that's how you need to continue to treat them. Now, I'm going to touch up on the relationship aspect of this quote he gave me or this this advice that he gave me if you are a guy and you're dating a girl you know you've met this wonderful woman and you've told her that you were going to do all of these wonderful things for her build her a home marry her have children with her take care of her she doesn't have to worry about anything if you've told this woman all of these things then this person is going to expect for you to follow through you need to be upfront with this woman if you are having financial issues and things of that nature you need to let this woman know up front, you know, don't keep things from her. Because if you start changing and you're not doing the little things that you used to do for her, like getting her nails done, taking her out to eat, buying her all of this jewelry, you know, all of these expensive things, if you stop doing that for that woman, She's going to look at you like something is wrong, that you're changing, that, you know, you're falling out of love. Maybe you have someone else. So she's going to start thinking, maybe I should get someone else too. He's changed on me. So with you not being honest with her and you're having these financial issues or you just feel like you don't want to do all of these things for her anymore because you feel like it's waste it's a waste of money and a waste of time and you're trying to save money well that's not going to really fly over very well unless the both of you are on the same page about it so she's going to start looking at you like you know you're a liar you're a user you got her into a relationship and you totally changed. You know, there's no more talk about the wedding. There's no more talk about having children. You know, and then you'll start to look at her like, you know, she's a gold digger. She's using you for your money. And, you know, that's going to be a problem there. So, you know, communication is the key. And you need to continue to do what you did to get her or keep her she may not be on the same level as you are the way that you think it could be that she had a relationship where she was always taking care of the man and so she got her life together and decided that she wanted to be with the man that would take care of her so she got with you so now that you've changed or flipped the script you're looking like those same guys 
that she had to take care of or just totally didn't do anything for her. And there it, it messes up the relationship. You have to keep doing what you did in the beginning to keep that person. I don't care if you gave her flowers once a month, y'all went out. You have to keep doing those things because if you don't keep doing those things, she's going to go outside of the relationship to try to find that with another man. You know, that's just how it is. Just like with men, if they're not getting sexually satisfied or you know, whatnot, things like that, they eventually will try to go outside of the relationship or marriage. And so those are some things that you have to think about, you know. And another thing, as far as friendships go, if you have a friend that you met and you both were smoking weed when you met each other, you hang out every day, everything's going great, best friends, talking all the time, BSF, then you decide that you want to stop smoking weed and you want to start going to church. Well, you can't really get mad at your friend because they don't want to be around you anymore. You know, if you're not smoking weed, you know, their friend is an everyday weed smoker, that person's going to go around people that does what she's going to go around people that do what 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 they what you used to do so you have to take a look at that within yourself so if you're having issues and problems in a relationship or a friendship and you feel like someone has done you wrong take a look at yourself and see and ask yourself what is it that i have what have i done wrong is there something that's happened where i've changed and if you still can't figure it out, you can always contact me. I would love to give you a reading about it or a consultation on your situation so you can find some peace about it. Contact me at highpriestesskathy at yahoo.com or you can contact me at highpriestesskathy at gmail.com. I hope this video was helpful for you. Please comment, like, and subscribe to my videos. And I'm out. Take care. Bye-bye.